Well here we're going to use the SIMULT function of the TI-89 calculator. We've just done the RF function method way of using matrices. So now it's the SIMULT function and um, so we need to really view the RF function first because I've explained in that how it was we obtained this matrix here and using this function we got our answers uh, to this, this um, here as to what A, B and C would have equaled. We're going to now use the um, RF, uh, the SIMULT function though here. So first of all we need to uh, find the SIMULT function. I'm really under siege here, here tonight. I've got people talking and emails coming in. Anyway, we'll do the best we can. So we get to find the SIMULT function, we go second function and here's uh, maths. And then we go down to matrix. And then across and then we go down, so there's the RF one we, we've already used. Now the SIMULT function, enter. Now we need to put in our matrix. First of all we're going to put in this matrix and then we're going to put in this matrix as something entirely separate. Remember last time we did it we put the minus 8, the 4 and the minus 2 and the, this 4 here all in one row as if it was one matrix. Here we don't do that. So first we deal just with this matrix. So remember second function square bracket says this is a matrix and now the first row so second function and the square brackets is for the first row, so it's 8, minus 8, 4 and minus 2. So it's minus 8, 4 and minus 2. And that's the first uh, row, we've put that in. Next row, so to indicate that we open the square brackets again and we put in minus 1, comma, 1, comma and minus 1. And then we close that row. And then the last row here, which is just 1, 1, 1. So 1, comma, 1, comma, and 1. And we close that. Now that's the end of that matrix, so we have to close it off as a matrix. And so we put in the second square bracket at the end. Now this time we're going to put in this matrix here. Now it's got three rows, and there's only one number in each row. So here there was three numbers in the row. This time there's only one in each row. So to indicate this is a new matrix, first of all we put a comma to separate them. And then we again say this is a new matrix, square bracket. And now the first row contains what? Just four, nothing else. So we put the four in. That's all that there is in that first row, so we close that row off. Next row, square bracket, just contains minus one. So we put that in. Close off that row. Next row, open it up, square bracket contains just one, so I put the one in and close that row and now that's the end of that matrix so another square bracket closes that matrix off. Now we need to put a round bracket because this function here if we go right back to the start of it we can see there's the SIMULT function, there it is and of course it opened with a round bracket. So just to be clear we got that from the maths, the maths function under matrices that gave us the SIMULT and a bracket. Square bracket said this is a matrix and then we put each of the rows in, these rows, within square brackets. Then when we reach the end of that matrix, we then put a second square bracket which closed it off as a matrix. There's the second square bracket there. Then a comma saying this is a now a new matrix where we put this one in. So a square bracket and then another square bracket for, this, for the first row. And the only thing in the row is just the number 4, there it is. Next row, just the number minus 1, there it is. Next row, just 1, there it is. End of matrix, so we close the, uh, the square bracket off, and then a round black bracket closes the whole function. Now we press enter, it's going to calculate the value of A, and of B, and of C for us. So we press the enter function, and there it is there. So our answer is minus 1, 0, and 2, minus 1, 0 and 2, just as we got using the RF function, but it's just another alternative method for finding the matrices. So there we go, now the phone's ringing and someone's come in, so it's about time to sign off I think. Alright, well hopefully that was useful to you and announcements, unbelievable. Yes, there you go. Okay, I'll finish off there, hope that was good.